Hey guys, welcome back. It's Nintendo Man of God and Blue Man One Five Four Three Two. With more of Mega Man Doctor Wily's Revenge Part Three, where we're going to cut Man Stage, the last Robot Master of the first four. Yeah, why did they put uh, the first four from Mega Man One and for last the uh, first four from Mega Man Two anyway? Uh, I'm not actually quite too sure. All I know is that like this, see, this is the Game Boy version, so of course it's supposed to be like a remake style. All I know is that like that the second Game Boy remake, they took like basically the last four Robot Masters that, from Mega Man 2 that weren't in the game and basically just copied their stage, their stages, and pasted it into the game. So, For the, being and, extremely lazy. Yeah, isn't a Game Boy like a regular Game Boy cartridge like only half the size of an NES cartridge? Eh, well, like in, in terms of data space, I would say yeah. But an actual like size size, not even close. Oh well, yeah. Just, oh, speaking of cartridge sizes, I actually have a story about how I got my NES. Like my friend um, had neighbors across the street, and they had an NES there. So I'm like, oh my god. And my friend Donald's like, oh, I have three, so I can give you. Well, you can have that one if you want, and if it works, I'm like, okay, cool. So I get the NES, and I, I feel something inside of it. Like if I tilt it, I, I hear like a like a clunk, right? Uh, and yeah. When when I take the thing out, it's a Sega Genesis, no Sega Master System cartridge. What? I know. I I I was very confused. I I was disappointed. Like, look, Sega Nintendo, not the same thing. Ugh. Derp. Yeah. Anyways, I got the th I got my three NES games from them too. I got uh, Star Tropics, good game. Uh, Kung Fu and Shadowgate. Ah. Uh, yeah, I have a fun story about my NES too. Like, it was the only system I had when I was like four years old, and like yeah, when I was four, they like the the N64 had no three. When I was three, the N64 had been out for like three years, of course now. But like, I guess it was the only system I had. So, you know, dumb person being my me, me at that age, I thought I could play a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and suck it in the cart, <laughs> suck it in the system. <laughs> that, yeah, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm retarded. When I, I was a really retarded when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, maybe. I'm trying to think of something that could top that. Uh, oh, I died. Ha! Huh. Face for me. Oh well, I probably wouldn't even gone past half the stage because this doesn't even look like Cutman stage at all. It just looks like I know it, it's not. It's it, this one isn't like the cutout version. Like this game, it's all new levels. There's no like cutting out. It's, like being lazy in the, the next one, so. Yeah, because Cutman stage is uh, outside, like in Mega Man 1, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Speaking of Mega Man 1, I haven't played it in a while, actually. I played it yesterday. And then I yeah. died on Iceman stage like four times because of those goddamn rotating platforms. So I'm... Hey, you froze the thing in midair. Yep, that's what that Ice Beast Slasher can do. That's why I love Iceman. What the hell? How are you able to do that? The Ice Slasher, like when I switch to my switch weapons by, uh, in this case I hit shift to switch weapons, because that's my select button. Oh, okay. Uh, I on the keyboard, of course, but, um, yeah. Whenever I hit shift, it brings up the menu with, uh, the names, with the first two letters of the names of the uh, robot masters I've killed and, uh, their weapon selections, so. Huh. See, like, right there, of course. Here I'm switching to the Ice Beam, because I remember these things, you can freeze them as well. So I like just want to like floating Pac-Mans. Oh yeah, uh, pretty much. <laughs> wow. And here we are at Cutman stage. So yeah, well, that was Another fast. State. Now the best item to use against Cutman would definitely have to be the fire slasher, fire beam, or whatever. Because uh, when you fire it, it not only does damage, but it also gives you that little circular thing that goes around it, so that when Cutman's around you, you can basically just do that, do extra damage to him. Oh, interesting. Makes it a lot easier, eh? Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Oh, of course, well, I uh, died. Of yeah. course! Herb me! <laughs> okay, anyway, past the mental retardation. Yep. Picking the wrong weapons, too. Oh, good job. Shut up, you're not playing. I know! I'm watching. Of course you are. Yes, I watch and you when you sleep. Dead. That's all four Robot Masters. What Woo! comes next? Hmm. Hmm, what comes next? I don't know. You know who comes next? Base. What? I don't get it. You're not now, supposed to get it. Now, you see, when you beat Cutman, you get the rolling cutter, which is hid weapon, and then you get another weapon. It's not actually a weapon, it's more or less an item that you use that's called carry. 
Um, right there in the middle, that's Dr. Wily. So, as soon as I hit the start button, we will go to Dr. Wily's stage. His eyebrows aren't that prominent. Exactly. Now, I know that this is actually kind of a lame of a cutscene, but it's a Game Boy, so it's understandable. He, I mean, all he does, this is all he does. Raises his eyebrows up and down, like, <laughs> that's all he does. Oh, boy. No, that's all he does in every single Mega Man regular series game. Yeah, that's totally awesome. Up and down, up and I down. I can't even do that. Like, that's... That would kill my forehead. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm trying that right now, and it's not even working. And thanks Ugh. to this new microphone, which is actually the first usage of it on an actual video, might I add. Yay. Yay firsts. Yeah, yeah you. Uh, See, there's the example of carry. You just press, oh. the, press the attack button, and it makes you a little carry thing like that. Very useful for the stage, considering there are lots of dropping parts where you don't know what's below you, and you might end up hitting some spikes and killing yourself. Ah, like I did many times on an attempt on this video. I hate it! <laughs> Why? You know what? Never mind. I've stopped questioning this long ago. What? Are you trying Why are to question? there fans there? I don't know. Why do the fans have the power to push you back? Because... For... Air purposes. Great, that's just what we need. I don't know what the hell I'm saying anymore. Me neither! Oh boy. Now here I just spent a really long time trying to stock back up on things. Well, I would normally, but... It's because all of these things do, you just keep shooting them, moving along slowly, yada yada. They'll, they'll drop enough items for you to re basically restore anything you've lost. Whenever huh. it be ammo or <clears throat> health. So that's why I take forever on these. And I'll just rush forward too, because... It's Is this not strategy for Mega Man 1 too? Hmm? Is that strategy for Mega Man 1? Well, th to be honest, I haven't actually gotten to... I haven't actually been able to beat the, like, one Robot Master and Robot in Mega Man 1. Really? I have... yeah. To be honest, like, it's just... i just never been able to do it. Yeah, understandable. I mean, you know how in, uh, future Mega Man games you're allowed to, like... You're allowed to be blinking when you fall into spikes? Yeah. Well, in Mega Man 1, like for NES, you cannot be blinking. If you hit spikes, you die, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, pretty much. Like those spikes right there. Oh, man. See, that's why carry helps. I would have probably hit those spikes and died right there if I didn't have carry equipped. Epic <laughs> save. Yep. And these jumpers are so much easier to kill because they jump. And when they're jumping, they're down vulnerable. I never would have guessed they... jump. No. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's these smiley faces of doom. Oh, God. Like, those <laughs> <laughs> Think about this, though. When you're a kid and you're expecting... Okay, have you seen the Mega Man 1 cover artwork? Yeah, I have. Okay, when you when you see that, and then you play the stage that, that's first highlighted on, and you see friggin' those smiley faces of doom on Cup Man's stage, first enemies you see, you're like, what the hell is this? What is going on? I know. It's just like... Why? <laughs> well, not like that, but... Well, I, I, I know, but... Not like sexual tension. <laughs> bacon! Fail. Die, bacon, you stupid bacon! But bacon tastes good! But bacon hurts you, in this game at least. It are very evil. Hmm. I guess the grease must make Mega Man's hinges, like... Suck. That's tip. That, that's a scripted. Suck. <laughs> they suck. Uh, anyway, more lasers. Yay. And a Ooh, fan uh, that's pushing me into the lasers. They're firing their. Boaz. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Oh no, I hate this part. I hate this part. Stupid birds! <laughs> Have you seen my uninvited Let's Play? Yeah. There's this, there's this delay bird in it, and I go Rrr! the delay bird. Yeah, and I hate those birds because they drop eggs at you, and they're like so annoying, especially in the next part. I'm just saying. Purple all. Spoiler alert, but yeah. <sighs> this long, tedious grinding off of these things. Getting well, you're items. not really grinding; you're more like getting stuff. Yeah. Because this is not an RPG, of course. Imagine if Mega Man... Oh, no, never mind. Battle Network. That's an RPG. Yeah, I... Uh, I was planning on doing a Let's Play of Battle Network after Link to the Past, of course, but... My mind got changed. 
Happened to me too. <laughs> After my Ocarina of Time Let's Play, I'm like, huh, I want to do maybe uh, Mario 64 with a camera, even though I did end up doing that. So I'm like, hmm, can yeah. I try this emulator crap? And hey, it worked, so. Yeah. Uh, eh, yeah, I'm definitely going to do Super Mario 64 at some point. And you would know that because we've been talking about this. But they don't talking know behind your backs, viewers. Yeah. Not telling you anything. Not at all. No. My precious. My precious. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I can't do that anymore. You, yeah, don't. We don't want you dying here, Blue Man. No. No, you're the god. You saved me. Indeed. Let's play Nintendo Man of Gods. Let's play. Yes. Because when it comes to my peers in my school, I am a god. I destroy everybody in whatever they play. Give me two days on a game, I will play it and destroy you at it. <laughs> okay, my peers... I don't know. <laughs> I'm either in the middle or I suck. Or I'm good. Really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're levitating on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> I know. I dropped a carry there. But anyway, we're falling now completely to some random place. So, where are we now? We're at a teleport system that says Dr. Wally. Where do these teleports lead? See you next time to find out! Bye. Bye.